Good morning, everybody. This is Charles Barnett of AGN, Apostolic Gatherings Network. And I have a message for everybody. This is for the church, the body of Christ, especially uh, those who are prophetically gifted, apostles, prophets, and prophetesses. This is really for you. Today, we're going to talk about the price of revelation, the price of or cost of revelation from God. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 and on reads, That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, here it is, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, about him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Praise God. You know, the Lord was talking to me and... um about the cost of revelation, the cost of God enlightening you to have deep wisdom and understanding in the knowledge of him. is It's going to cost us something. It's going to cost you something. And you're going to suffer. I know back when I was a new convert, everybody was like wanted to be so deep in God. You know, we were praying, God, make me deep, uh, make me so deep. I want to be so knowledgeable because everybody would be ooh and ah over those who God had given revelation. But uh, the Bible says, you know, knowledge puffs up, you know, and uh, it, it just you can get really puffed up in pride if you just gain a lot of head knowledge, but it doesn't really See, because we can we can get a lot of knowledge on the scriptures, but he says you need to have knowledge of him. In other words, it needs to go beyond just what we know what's written down and that we know it. But do you know him? And see, the revelation is going to cost you. It's going to cost you. Here's why. Jesus who is the image of the invisible God, in other words, his direct in, uh, representation, God manifest in the flesh. He is the fountain of revelation. And what would happen to him when he would be teaching and expounding and people were following him and he was performing signs, wonders, and miracles and healings and deliverances and people were being freed from demons and whatnot. He would make lunch, one little boy's lunch, turn into a ginormous smorgasbord. And the first thing that he was attacked was the Pharisees. The people who were supposedly know the Holy Scriptures. People who are supposed to have the revelation. But they attacked him and repeatedly attacked him. They fought against him. They even consented to crucify him. If you are going to receive revelation from God, you're going to have to accept the fact that are going, there's going to be people that don't like you. There's going to be people who don't agree with you. There's going to be religious people who don't have the same revelation, the wisdom and understanding in him like you do. And therefore, they are going to resist you. They're going to ostracize you. They're going to cause you to suffer their wrath. <laughs> It's just going to happen. Why? Because they don't see it. Because God hasn't given it to them. God didn't give them that revelation. And so they're going to think you're off your rocker. They're going to think you're backslidden. They're going to think you're cuckoo. They're going to think you're like, what's up with this person? It's simple. There's a cost to the revelatory power of Jesus Christ. You don't just get it for free. And you don't just get it because so you can flaunt it because knowledge puffeth up. God doesn't need any 
proud, knowledgeable people just to show off that they know something about God. God gives it to us for a purpose because unto whom much is given, much is required. What are you doing with it? Are you sharing it? Are you helping people? Are you helping the kingdom of God with this revelation? There's going to be a lot of people that just don't, they just, the devil is going to send demonic forces against you because he's going to see that your eyes have been enlightened and that you know. So there's a cost, there's a price for receiving revelation. Yes, you're going to have demonic forces come against you. Yes, you're going to have religious forces come against you. And it's all because they are blind and they can't see it. But God has given it to you. Not so that you can dominate people, not so that you can be greater than people, so that you can help people. He gave Joseph revelation. Joseph and the coat of many colors. You know the story of Joseph in the book of uh, Genesis. He had prophetic vision that nobody could see. Nobody but him. People say, oh, you think you're the only one that God shows it to you? <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Happened to Joseph. He was the only one. That is why Pharaoh said, you are Zephneth Panea. God speaks and lives in that man. And guess what he did? He saved that known world. He did. If it wasn't for Joseph's prophetic revelation, we wouldn't be here today. Mm -hmm. So, but what did he say? What did Joseph say? He says, you did evil to me. He goes, you meant it for evil. God meant it for good to save much people alive today. In other words, he knew and he understood. He finally got it. He's not going to take revenge. It's just they were shallow. I hate to say it, but they were. They were shallow. Later on, they caught on. And so that's what the issue is now. People are going to come against your revelation. And when I'm talking about revelation, I'm talking about you don't make a new doctrine. You just get revelation on what God has already revealed. And then more deeper things from what he's shown here. And that the mystery in the revelation is that it's Christ in us, the hope of glory. You know, that's in Colossians chapter 1, that we can receive the Spirit of God now. Now, you don't need buildings and temples and mosques and and sanctuaries and uh, and uh, uh, whatever else, wherever meeting place that you want is lavish, you know, church buildings. That's not what it is. We are the temple. We are. Now you can be with him every day, just like the early church. That's why they met house to house, out in the open. and over. It was wherever they went. That's the mystery. That's the revelation. Is that now that God that was a mystery revealed himself in Jesus Christ and now can live inside of us. That's why we preach Christ. Hallelujah. Now, the revelation, it's an amazing thing. And I know because I receive revelation. God gives me revelation. God gives me deep revelation. Why? To share it with you, that's why. Not to, for me to be some great thing. Unfortunately, when I share it with people, a lot of them think that I'm cuckoo. Many of them think I'm insane. Even though I break it down in the Holy Scriptures and show rightly divided, line upon line, precept upon precept, cross the T, dot the I, they still don't see it. And the reason why is because they're blinded to it, unfortunately. But... It's for those, the remnant, those that God has called, those that he has opened your eyes right here. He says uh, that you, that you're understand, understanding being enlightened. So, yes, I've received a lot of suffering. I have a lot of suffering for this revelation, but it's worth it. I just want to tell you, apostle, you prophet, you prophetess, stay at Stay in the will of God. Stay in the will of God. Yes, Bishop so-and-so will not see it, will not understand it. They might even fight against you. The Pharisees fought against Jesus, and they fought against the apostles. The Sadducees fought against them too. False teachers from other religions and heathenism and, and all these paganism fought against them. 
The demonic forces are going to come against you. But know this, that your revelation is from God and it promotes Jesus Christ because he is God, Savior, Lord of all. And you are going to receive a reward. So here's the whole thing. You're going to receive attacks and suffering. Settle in your heart. That's just the way it is. That's the cost and the price of the calling, the high calling, the apostolic prophetic calling. But God is the one who vindicates, validates. He's the one that sent. He's the one that called. He's the one that empowered us. He empowered you. And vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. Those who fight against his ministers will pay, even if they are ministers themselves. Unfortunately, that happens. But as long as you are obedient to God over everything else, you are in his written word, flowing in his spoken word, and you are obedient to him in his will, that is what matters. That's what's going to get you into heaven. Obedience to him. Not obedience to anybody else. That's why the apostles in Acts chapter 5 said, we got to obey God more than men. That is so deep. There's so many pastors and bishops don't even get that. It's so simple how they don't get it because they're blinded by their own policies. They're blinded by, the, by their own pride. But if you're enlightened, praise God. Praise the Lord that you're suffering for his name's sake. It's a blessing. It means you're right smack in the middle of the will of God. So this is Charles Barnett from Apostolic Gatherings Network, a prophetic apostle by the will of God, for the will of God, in the service of Jesus Christ, to bring these things to you so that you and your that your sight can be enlightened and that you can receive like revelation and follow Jesus Christ. So there is a cost, there is a price, but nothing supersedes the revelation of Jesus Christ. God bless you. This is Charles Barnett of AGN. Peace of Christ unto you.